Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have seen what are the applications of Z transform, definition of Z transform, its importance, and also we have seen some elementary Z transforms. In this learning video, we are going to start with the properties of Z transform. So, without much ado, let us start with the very first property of Z transform. And this property is linearity property. Okay, so let us see what this linearity property says. Let f of z, g of z, and h of z are z transforms of fn, g of n, and h of n respectively. And a, b, c are constants, then prove that z transform of this is same as this. Okay. So till now what we know, till now we know the definition of Z transform, is it? Correct. So we can start with the definition only and we'll try to prove this result. Okay, so let us start with the definition. By the definition of Z transform, transform we have what we have yes z transform of f of n is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n that is the definition we have okay now we have to prove what we have to prove to prove Z transform of A F of N plus B G of N minus C H of N C H of N is same as A F of Z plus B G of Z minus C H of Z okay a f of z plus b g of z minus c h of z this is what we want to prove so let us prove it like take the left hand side and try to get the right hand side okay so left hand side is what what is it z transform of a f of n plus b g of n minus c h of n now apply the definition of z transform over here so you can see instead of f of n we have this so try to apply accordingly the definition of z transform summation n is equal to 0 to infinity a f of n plus b g of n minus c h of n into z to the power minus n Okay, now try to separate these terms. So it should be summation n is equal to 0 to infinity a f of n into z power minus n plus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. What is it? b into g of n into z power minus n minus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity c into h of n into z power minus n okay now you just see here i can take what i can do here now i will take this a b c outside of the summation as you can see the summation runs over n and a b c being constant i can take it outside of the summation okay so let me do that step over here only a times this plus b times taking out this common or uh, outside of the summation minus c times this okay now Look at the definition. Summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n z to the power minus n. This is nothing but the definition of 
z transform of f of n and we are given this z transform of f of n is f of z right okay so just replace it so this is a f of z plus b what is this likewise for f of n we can write for g of n and h of n so it should be b h of z minus c sorry b g of z minus c h of z and what is this this is my rhs that i wanted to sh show so at last you have to write therefore z transform of a times f of n plus b times g of n minus c times h of n is equal to this simple okay so this proves the result very simple property and we are going to make use of this property when we solve problems okay now if you want we can take one simple problem like uh, say example one find find z transform of one plus or say seven plus nine n so we have to find out the uh, z transform of this okay so try to apply the property so in the solution what it should be it should be z transform of 7 plus 9 n is equal to 7 times z transform of 1 plus 9 z transform of n simple so you know that what is the z transform of 1 z transform of 1 is z upon z minus 1 plus what about z transform of n this is z upon z minus 1 whole square provided mod of z should be greater than 1 so this is the very simple example that we have taken under this property of uh, linearity when we go further in this uh, unit you will see uh, lots many application of this linearity property in the upcoming topics okay so i hope this uh, property is clear to you very elementary property is there right and uh, if you have any doubt please ask and your suggestions are most welcome and thank you for watching and happy learning thank you